Today, I want to talk about what it's like being around guns all the time with small hands. Um, it's annoying because some of these guns are so large that the standard way to do stuff is just something I'm not physically able to do. I'm going to look at Glocks as an example on that. The way that most people tear down a Glock, um, I'll use a G43X as the example. So first, you always want to clear it. Make sure that there's nothing in there. So tearing down a Glock uses this tear down lever. And most people, to do it, go like this, go here, pull down, release, pull the trigger. So with these small frames or the slims, I can do that. However, larger frame guns, I can't get my left hand up underneath there to be able to do that. So the next gun that I have here to, to show that on is a G22. And the same deal. Magazine is empty. Chamber is empty. Nothing in there. So on this one though, I, I just, I don't, I can't. It's a stronger spring and it's harder to pull down. So what I have to do with small hands is actually come over the top and push down. So I'm gonna pull it back, push it down, and then let it travel forward. So, <laughs> this is one case where I guess size does matter, but if you've got smaller hands, don't think that just because the way that most people do something with a gun means you can't make that gun work for you. So, like I said, with, with my small hands, it's a little different uh, getting these slides off on these larger frame firearms because I, I just don't have the strength to come underneath. It just, I can't, I can't do that, but I can push down just fine. And it comes right off. So just keep that in mind. Uh, smarter, not harder. Oh. Yeah, so on Glock, sometimes that spring hops. I'll just push it back down. 